Hello everybody, Graham from Frontenac Cycle here with another video. Today uh, we're going to be starting a new video series titled Making Sense of It. Um, today we're going to be talking about bottom brackets. There are a lot of different standards and we're going to go over the common types and the differences between them. Okay, so let's get into it. What are bottom brackets? Bottom bracket refers to the part of the bike where the cranks attach, so the bearings inside of the frame that have the axle that the, bear, the cranks attach to. Uh, there are a lot of different types of bottom brackets. Uh, the most common or, or the older type you would call a square taper axle. This is what you're going to find on uh, most bikes throughout the 70s through to the early 2000s had square taper axles. Uh, moving on from that, there were different versions of, a, of the same kind of bottom bracket like from Shimano Octolink or uh, Isis Drive from Truvative, Power Spline from SRAM, all a pretty similar concept where it's a threaded in bottom bracket that the, and the crack, crank attaches to the axle which is all part of it. Moving on from that type of bottom bracket, you would, ex you would see uh, an external bearing bottom bracket. So again, these are threaded, but the bearings actually sit outside of the frame. And the advantage of this is that it is a stiffer interface. The cranks, when you're putting a lot of power down, uh, the cranks will remain stiffer and therefore translating to more power to the rear wheel. In this type of bottom bracket, the axle is actually attached to the crank. So the bearings don't have the axle in it, uh, not until you actually put the cranks through. And then moving on from that uh, external bearing, the threaded type, you would start to see things that uh, we would call press fit bearings. So these are actually bearings that are just pressed right, as the name would suggest, pressed right into the frame. Um, this is something that you'd find more commonly on carbon fiber bikes. So let's get into the threaded bottom brackets first. Uh, the, the most common and the one that we deal with almost 99% of the time is the British standard, so BSA. Uh, and that threading is 24 threads per inch, TPI. And the threading is different from left to right. Uh, the right side of the bike the drive side uses a left-hand thread, so it's a reverse, and the non-drive, or the left side of the bike, uses a right-hand thread. Uh, so it's kind of the opposite. Left hand uses the right, right, hand, right side uses the left. Um, and what that, uh, what that means is if you have a bottom bracket that is, for example, an Italian threaded bottom bracket, it's not going to work. Italian threading is a different standard, and it uses both sides are, are right-handed. Um, there are some other threading types uh, that have kind of gone the way of the dodo. Uh, there's French and Swiss uh, and Isis Overdrive. Uh, those are all threading standards that don't really exist anymore, so you don't need to worry about those. Uh, lastly, for the threading types, there's T47. So that is uh, kind of a newer type. Uh, we actually have that threading on some of the bikes we sell, the Bomb Track uh, Hook EXT, the steel version for an example, uses a T47. It's the same threading type as the BSA, the British Standard, but it's a larger diameter. Uh, so it uses a 47 millimeter diameter. So that's kind of a basic rundown of the threading types. Uh, next let's talk about the press fit. All right, so. The other option, if you're not using a threaded bottom bracket, would be press fit or PF. Um, press fit bottom brackets are, like I said before, and kind of a newer technology, something that is commonly used with carbon fiber frames. Uh, the, there are a few different standards, uh, most of which, the, the different standards basically denote the internal width uh, that, the, that the bearing presses into. And then the other numbers associated are the, uh, the depth that the cup goes in. So uh, PF41, PF42, PF46, the difference between those three is the, outer, the di inner diameter that the bearing is pressing into. Uh, 
other names for those bottom brackets. Uh, for example, a, a PF41 will also be called uh, a BB86, uh, BB89.5. I will uh, list all the different sizes here and we'll also have a link to a Park Tool uh, website that gives you a breakdown of all the different sizes. But that second number, that 86 or, or whatever the number may be, that's telling you how, how deep the cup goes in. Um, so yeah, so press fit is a very simple system where you're, you're literally, you know, you're with a lot of pressure, you're pushing in the bearings into the frame. Uh, and then like this system, the axle is going to be attached to the crank and it's going to slide through once you've got the bearings in there. Got to run away here. Uh, so the, the idea behind a press fit is that it's a very simple system. You, once your bottom bracket starts to wear out, it'll start making some creaking noises. That can just be a, a, an issue of cleaning it, but usually it's time to replace your bearings. And so yeah, you would just hammer out the bearings and press in new ones. Pretty simple. Thanks again guys for watching this video. It's our first installment of the Making Sense of It series. I uh, hope you guys found it interesting and informative. L please uh, give a comment down below if you have any questions about your bottom bracket or of course, as always, come into the shop and we can help you out. All right, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to hammer that like button and subscribe because we've got more coming to you. Thank you very much.